Let's move on. Bebsy's on the board. Next up for us, 1 p.m. Eastern. And this is the only game I bet. And look, it's so public. It's already public. It's going to be more public. And I didn't get the two and a half. And there was three bets I was going to make. And then only one I ended up pulling the trigger on today. It was actually uh, this evening. I did take the Bengals minus three at minus 115. I just don't know how this Chargers run defense can stop Mixon, especially how confident Mixon is right now after that giant game. That doesn't mean that I'm going to be making a betting a Mixon prop at all. I'm, I'm made it clear that I'm not betting props in NFL this year. Even though I watch people succeed with it, it's just I study my ROI. I study years prior, and I think it was a problem for me last year. Let's break this down and – Take a look here. I'm on a very public side. This total, by the way, opened up at 51. It's now down to 50 and a half. Get over here. And the Bengals opened up minus two and a half, minus 105. They're now minus three and minus 113 at Pinnacle. And it's public, man. It's a public spot. We have just 22% of the tickets are on the Chargers. And this number is going up, by the way. Big bets coming in on the Chargers. 41% of cash right now is on the Chargers. 75% of tickets are on the over. Uh, and, and look, I don't want to I, – I don't like believing what we saw last week. And I'm not sitting here – just the fact that I bet it doesn't mean to me that this is a smash spot or I'm very confident in it. I just – the Chargers on the road again, 52 Fahrenheit chance of showers, eight miles per hour at Paul Brown Stadium. Bengals know they're very close to being a big piece of the playoff puzzle. Uh, Birdie did bet Cincy minus two and a half, says this Cincy team has to be taken seriously now. And he also bet the over 50 and a half, says this will be a track meet by two really good young quarterbacks. There will be points here and lots of them. Uh, yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Uh, Harold Williams says that he is liking the over. Let's break this down further. Chargers coming off an ugly 28-13 loss at Denver. God, it felt good. Felt really good. Trusting Denver off the bye. I can't wait to talk Broncos Chiefs. Not that I – and I almost bet the Broncos. I didn't. I held off. Uh, Herbert was 28 for 44, 303 yards, two touchdowns, two interceptions. He also led the team in rushing with four carries for 36 yards. Austin Eckler is such a danger out of the backfield receiving, but he's just not running the ball well. 12 carries for 31 yards. He did catch six passes for 68 yards and a touchdown. And if those counted rushes, basically, then sure, he's very dangerous. But you want to be able to – to pound the rock sometimes. He doesn't seem capable to do that. Keenan Allen caught seven passes for 85 yards. After Herbert's second touchdown pass to Jared Cook with 437 left, made it 28-13, Brandon Staley went for two. And I just, I mean, I didn't mind it because I was on the Broncos, but I just couldn't understand the idea, the ideology behind it. I just didn't, it just made no sense to me. The defense looks suspect yet again. One sack, three quarterback hits. Drew and James played well. Seven tackles, two for a loss, one interception, one quarterback hit. This AFC is wide open. They're still in it, but they're not good enough defensively. And they've made no moves to fix that. Chargers placed Mark Webb Jr. on IR. Quarterback Asante Samuel Jr. is so important. Uh, was inactive last week. List is questionable this week. Same with Gilman, safety, and their guard, Matt Filer. So – Bengals coming off a dominant 41-10 beatdown at home of their AFC North rival Steelers. It marked Cincinnati's first season sweep of the Steelers since 2009. Scored on their first four drives. They were up 31-3 at the half. Joe Burrow, 20-24, 190 yards, one touchdown, one interception. Looks like a vet back there. T. Higgins caught six passes for 114 yards. Joe Mixon was a beast. 28 carries for a career high, 165 yards, two touchdowns. He's coming off 123-2 TD performance in the win over Vegas. He had 117 yards rushing at the half. What's he going to do to these Chargers? Defense had three sacks, six quarterback hits. Eli Apple's resurgence continues. Another pick for him. Hilton returned his pick to the house against his former team. Riley Reeves suffered an ankle injury in the third quarter. List is questionable this week. Another offensive lineman, Trey Hopkins, left in the third quarter with a knee injury. He's listed as questionable this week. Uh, Trey Waynes, cornerback Trey Waynes, could be activated off IR for this game. Bebsy, here we go. Chargers, Bengals. Uh, first, I'd like to address uh, Turnsey. Turnsey, I uh, I don't know. I'd love to play. I know it sounds crazy to say I'd love to play Windsor, but I would love to. Need a venue, man. Not a, not a ton going there, but uh, nothing in the books. Would love to uh, be back in Windsor, Ontario, Canada. Um, but listen, I am all in on this over. 
I complete. I think I'm going to have to postpone the fight with Bernie because I completely agree with him. I think two young star quarterbacks uh, taken uh, in the same draft. Uh, a mere six picks apart. Uh, I do think both of these guys are going to put up points. Um, so I think this is an easy cash on the over. Uh, I really do. And also, I believe that Cincy is for real. I think they're putting this together. And the Chargers, they're still that team that you don't know what you're going to get from them. And aside from one bad game, really, this year, like, since he's been pretty steady, yeah, they've lost four. There's only one of those that was a real ugly loss. So it's a more consistent team, much better defense right now. And I, I, I'd have to check this, but I think Mixon has like 13 touchdowns in his last eight games. He's on fire right now. And I don't see the Chargers being able to stop this guy. Um, you got a very lackluster defense that is obviously not getting stronger as the season's going on. So, uh, Super confident in the over, uh, but like Cincy as well here. So I'm gonna take, uh, I'm gonna take Cincy at, uh, well, whatever, whatever the best line I can get. If I can get, uh, I said Birdie got a two and a half, which is beautiful. But um, I'm still okay with the three here. I, I think this, I think Cincy rolls in this one. Well, you can get a little bit better than I got. You can get minus one thirteen at Pinnacle on the minus three. Shit, sorry, minus three, minus one thirteen. And then you can get the total. Let's find a total for you here. In this, we have 51. It's moved to 51, but it's at plus 101. Let's see if we can get you a 50 and a half. We can get you a 50. Let me just move the total. I believe it's a 50 and a half at a pick them at minus 110. And it is. So 50 and a half at minus 110 or 51 at plus 101. I'll take the plus money here, bud. All right. Over 51 at plus 101. <laughs> Slatsy says if because I said I will I will uh, come out of retirement and open for you if you go if if Turnsy books a personal show not Fuck personal yeah. we're not gonna it's not gonna be you know, for an audience you should <laughs> make that fucking clear right now uh, for an audience I will open I will come out of retirement and open and then the big closer will be you fighting Birdie okay so Bebsy minus three minus one fifteen and he's on the over fifty one to plus one hundred one uh, both at Pinnacle and. I get why you guys would like the over. I get it. I get it. The thing Wait. for me is that this number, just in case the Chargers struggle again, I mean, why not just take the Bengals team total over 26 and a half? Because we know they're going to put up points. I mean, would it really shock you if this final score was 33 17? I don't know. I, I'm thinking of a. Nothing shocks me, Jimmy. Nothing shocks me. I'm thinking of leaving the Chargers out of the total and just going on a Bengals team total over. My problem at this point with the team total is maybe I would take a alternate team total line because I 26 and a half juice to minus 125. I don't want to have minus 125s on my card. All right, so Bebsy's locked in. Bengals minus three, minus 113. The over 51 at plus 101. I bet. The only bet I've made so far, Bengals minus three, minus 115. And I guess the team total I find most interesting here. All right. And Michael Everlina says, love all the low baggers, but I don't fade the Chargers after a bad loss. Says Chargers win outright by five plus. You know, <laughs> a lot of times this year I've been very hesitant to back a side that I know is going to be very public. Uh, back it in a situation where, you know, I'm fading a uh, – talented team like the Chargers who are coming off a terrible game. But I thought they looked terrible against the Vikings. If you can't stop the run, then how do you get the ball back with four minutes left in the game? And they couldn't get the ball back against the Vikings. And they couldn't get the ball back against the Broncos. So that's my issue here. Okay. Uh, and Mr. Fumble says was right to take Denver team total last week. Shouldn't the same strategy work? I think so. 
I think so. And that's how I'm going to do it. I think so. All right. Great work. I like this. Our card is coming together. 